Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is showing off my setup for the Skyline GTR in 1320 challenge. So if you want to run times like I do in the GTR, uh, I'm going to show you how. So you don't need the Halloween wheels. Halloween wheels are the same weight as the other head to head wheels. So you don't really need to worry about using Halloween wheels. You can use any of the lightweight wheels. So like the carbon fibers are another good replacement for the Halloween wheels. I just personally really like these wheels. So other than that, you want to max out your car with a turbocharged setup. As you can see, it's intercooler, T51, BOV, and turbo kit. And then just max out everything else. Do your Make sure you have your tires. Make sure you have, you know, nitrous 200 shot, things like that. You know, make sure you refill it. Always have max nitrous. And at least for now, best thing you can do on any head-to-head -head car you have is run your oil life down to zero or 1% because then you won't get engine damage very quickly. There is a bug currently on the game that basically you just don't get engine damage if you have 1% oil life. Uh, I don't know if we're planning on fixing that. I think we are, but whatever. Anyway, max HP on dyno is 806. Displayed HP is 939. Think of this as wheel horsepower is what I believe it is, and then this is crank far as boost, you know, your 25 PSI, set your ride height to whatever you want it to be, and then gear ratios always play a major role in 1320 challenge. My gear ratios look like this. I don't know if this fourth digit add-on actually makes a difference, but I'm going to leave it because <laughs> whatever. Um, I don't remember where these ratios came from, so if there's somebody else's, I am so sorry, but there's not many other people on game that are running around the same times as me. So I think I'm pretty sure I made these myself. Whatever. I'm going to add a one to this just because I want a third digit. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Now let's go about racing. I like to have gauges for this car. I don't have gauges on all my head to head cars, but I like having gauges on this one. So I'm going to set my dial in at... 0.001 faster than my uh, fastest average. Um, my fastest ET ever in this car is 7.798, which I don't know anybody else that has hit a 7.7 in this car at all. So we're going to hit OK, and I'm going to go over how to race this car with you guys. So what you need to do is you got your nitrous is full. Make sure you have your gauges. Any of the gauges work. I like the carbon fiber ones for this car specifically. I don't know. It's all preference. Shift light. You want to set your shift light to, I like setting it to 7,900. I think maybe 8,000 is probably better. Where I like to shift this car is like right in between 8,000 and the rev limit or the red line where it starts. I like to shift right there on second to third, third to fourth, and fourth to fifth. On fifth to sixth, I'll actually shift a little early and shift like 7,800 to 8,000. And you want your first gear to over rev if you can get lucky. Over rev is a little bit of a luck based thing. Just make sure you don't bounce it or like miss your shift, obviously. And then I know big uh, controversial thing. This is a rev or a full rev car. You can figure out how you want to rev it yourself. Personally, I like to just go full bore. Just set it on the rev limit, set gas to 100%. That's just how I race because I'm lazy. I have had some better luck in the past when I'm having bad days. If I actually lower my launch to about 7,500 and I launch right here, I've had a little bit better luck with ETs overall. But as long as you can hit your like 7.85s, or 7.86s, you're going to win most races in this car, even if your RTs are like 0.54. So, and that's just because nobody else has caught up yet. So, let me go over racing this thing. And I'm playing with sound off, so I'm going to be a little bit off. But, I'm a big component of audio on. <laughs> I didn't used to be. 
I'm a big component to audio on because I use audio to know where to shift. And as you can see, even with bad shifts, that was a mid 7.8, which not many people get that ET. But after this video, they might. So we're going to go again. If you get that little bit of wheel spin, that little bit of wheel hop, don't worry about it. You'll still probably run just as fast. You'll still be in your 7.8s. You'll just get a little like mid to high 7.8. It just means you're hitting the nitrous too soon. You basically want to wait, you know, a good millisecond or so to hit your nitrous. Oops, I shifted fourth to fifth a little bit early there, but I should be fine. Yeah, see? Right now, I'm just mainlining 7.86s. I, I tend to notice that my car slows down a little bit while I'm recording. I don't know why this is, but you know what? It's whatever. It's weird that it doesn't happen while I'm streaming on Discord, though. So, you know, computers are weird. Yeah, that was a terrible run. You can get on Flash Player 32, you can get a good four to five runs out of a single refill of nitrous. So, and final shift right there, 501, not bad. I don't think I'm gonna get one of my good ETs right now. I mean, if you can run this though fairly often, you're gonna be fine. Where's my car? So, let's go back. I'll do a couple more races because I wanna you know, get some good shifts in for you. But this game is very ratio based. If you don't have, you know, the right ratios in place, you are going to be slower. Ratios are a big math game, which has been proven by our one player MacGyver. Um, he uses math to figure out his ratios rather than, you know, visuals and testing. He basically uses, he, he wrote, you know, I don't know how much is public about his method, so I guess I'll keep my mouth shut. But very similar to like my chat GPT generated ratios, he's got a way. Look at that, 7.83 dead. I literally broke out. That's, this car is insane. I love this car. We'll do a couple more races, empty the nitrous bottle, and that'll be it. This is a really fun car. I'd like to host a tournament with the Skyline, but as we've noticed, I'm pretty bad at hosting tournaments, so that probably won't be a thing that I do, but I can really hope that maybe Brett will, because I'd love to see a Skyline tournament, and I'm not just saying that because I'll probably win it. <laughs> you can see my reaction times in this car are garbage, but you know I can hit monster ETs in this thing, so... It's a fun car overall. I really like the Skyline. My favorite car in the game is still the WRX. And after the next update, I think McLaren will be right up there with one of my favorite cars as well. But hitting, you know, low mid seven eights, you're going to win majority of races in this car until other people catch up to you. So, but this is going to be the final run I do. I think I might lengthen my second gear. I don't know. Let me know how your ratios turn out and how your races turn out. I had, was empty on nitrous there by the end of that, but that's okay. So let me know what car you want to see next. I'll see what I can do as far as head to head. I would like to start making bracket videos as well, but I am just not good at bracket. If you have any tips or tricks, leave them in the comments below or hit me up on discord. I'm always looking for a way to improve my racing experience. Even if you have feature ideas, you can always leave them on Discord or in my comments down below, and we'll get back to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.